All right, enough struggling. I'm done. <laughs> so, I actually put the mold on the floor. So I grab hold of this thing. There you go. Ugh. You thought about a nightmare to get off. Look at this freaking bottom center mold, that carbon toe. The joint is just hard. That's all get out. The bust loose from the flanges. Everything. I broke up a sweat. So there we go, fuselage. Woo! First one. <laughs> Been a long time coming, that's for dang sure. And honestly, weight wise, not too bad. I'm gonna guess probably right at 13, 15 pounds. Um, I don't have a scale with me that'll go that high right now, I don't think. Let's see what this one goes to. Oop, this was up to 25. Perfect. Let's see if uh, the fuselage will stand up in the garage. Don't worry, just carbon tow. Alright. Before trimming, with all the excess flange and stuff, we are at 19 pounds even. So I figured there's a couple ounces worth of stuff, like the, the cockpit opening, um, exhaust nozzle openings, all that stuff. That can get trimmed off. So about 19 pounds for a fuselage. I guess I can't really see that, but when you stand one of these things up, it's pretty dang tall. So there we go guys. One step closer. <laughs> one step of a lot left to go. And just because I haven't really got to do any sort of mock up for this thing since the plugs are done, let's have a little fun, shall we? I'll get my carbon spores in here. Hold on. Here up. Now let's get some horizontal stabs out there. If I can find them, open over there. Make this thing was, guys. 
you know, as frustrating as, as frustrating as I am with all the body work that this one needs, when you see it like that, <laughs> it just takes it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> These have always been kind of a, a big question in my mind if they were actually going to fit. Because I cut them straight off the plug, made some flanges, so, but then we're never able to get test fit to the plug once the, uh, everything was modified. And sure enough, they're, they're pretty much right on the money. Right on the money. I like it. And of course, I got a wing panel. It's a dud wing panel, but it's a wing panel. Nevertheless, she fits. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a nose phone too. It's always been another question on if nose phone would fit. Right now it's not going to fit because carbon toe seam and stuff is on the way, but we can fix that real quick. Or not. <laughs> Thought it was going to be easy. Then you go to do it. Use a nice sharp wood chisel. Nose cone. There we go. Three quarters of an F14. <laughs> I can honestly say I am quite happy. And I can take another year break. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna take a year off. I got much to do and I was so close. So Anyways, let's take the video camera and do a little walk around here, shall we? All that detail up here around the pilot's nose, I mean, it's, it's still all there. I know it's kind of hard because there's not a lot of light over here, but still there. Still some body work to do to it. Nose cone fits just right, even though it looks ugly. All the detail up here is done. There's normally a little... Uh, well, there's a yaw string and then there's also a little ductwork type thing that goes here. That's all going to be resin cast parts because I didn't feel like having one more thing in the mold to have to deal with. Plus, if you decide to do an A model out of this, which I will have the option to do, the A models are different. They're like three little knobs instead of a ductwork. Anyway, reef fuel and probe doors there. All this is there. You can see there's a little bit of body work. One thing I didn't do on these is you can see how thick that is. This stuff isn't seamed together here. The reason why is each one when it comes out, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to trim all this down. And this is going to get clamped outside of the mold. So it's a real nice, tight knife edge joint, just like the real ones. Um, future ones, the Air X won't come all the way to the front. It'll stop back about a half an inch. That way you can get a really nice, sharp edge. Uh, again, over wing fairings, a little thingies here that are cut. And some way of pulling them down so when the wings swept or unswept it'll be good here there's normally an airbag on the real one I've got ideas on how to do the airbag so I will have functional airbags at some point on this one where's all stab all the little rivet detail pivot rod all the detail here I mean it's when I can get the fuselage to look as good as these do then I'll be happy and I know what I can do. I know what I got to do in order to get the fuselage like that. I got to wet that. I got to get that cloth worked into these little areas more, and then the really deep ones, I got to put in a goop mixture like I did on on these stiffener rods here. Um, dump fuel dump tube, little antenna. Antenna's even got texture on it. 
just like the real one because the real one was fiberglass but it was a really nasty looking fiberglass but there's texture there uh, this here would be carbon fiber on the real one it can be carbon fiber on these but it's an option I'm not gonna do them all like that I'm just gonna be primer and then you can paint it black whatever see my uh, the speed brake molding that I did for the the flange is still in there I have to dig that out and it'll probably end up ruining it ruining it but same more detail here wing over wing fairing um, spoilers are all going to be machined out of G10, just a solid piece. Then the back side are going to be machined again and they're going to have lightning in them. Or they're going to have pockets to where the skin's only going to be about oh, probably 20 thousandths deep, but everything around it is going to be an eighth of an inch or 3 32nd, whatever it is, probably 3 32nd. That way it's really thick around the, the edges so you don't have to worry about it. But on the back side, it's going to be thinned down so they're light. And then there's also going to be a little bit of a, a fiberglass molding or I might even just do back and forth molding since quicker, cheaper. Because I don't have to make a mold, I just gotta make a plug, send it off, and get them vacuum formed. But the vacuum formed, I mean, it's not gonna be functional. It's just gonna be aesthetic to make it look like the scale backside of the of the spoilers. So that's one thing of vacuum formed. I haven't decided yet. You guys tell me what you think. I know fiberglass moldings are better, but I'm getting tired of making molds and plugs. And again, fuselage all the way down through there. So, here we go, I'm getting closer. Somebody send me some money so I can get some landing gear. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna take the time, I'm gonna trim all this flashing off from joining it, put the parts back up, and take the rest of the weekend off. I'm gonna go do some flying Saturday. So if you're in Miami, be on the lookout, you might see it. <laughs> of course, by the time you see this video, <laughs> this weekend already be over. Because I'm not, I'm not uploading this till after Saturday. I got some sneaky business to take care of. Anyway, talk to y'all later. See ya back in the shop.